Yo, everybody, it's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a Father Sunday dual commentary with a 141 kill game in the background. So, Dad, introduce yourself. Hey, what is up, Warriors? It's the Quad Father here, and I played this map the other day, and I went flawless. I, don't, I know you didn't, but... I, just... I didn't go flawless, but I got 141 kills playing on my own, which is, that's pretty solid, but I did get four deaths. You know, I probably could have stepped up my game and gotten a negative amount of deaths and turned them into kills. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you, I don't think work? you can do that, but, well, actually, I know you can't, but it'd be really cool if I went flawless, but that's beside the point. Today, guys, I actually have a story for you. Now, usually, it's my dad that brings the stories, but my dad has something that, I don't know, I thought he could do really well with this one. I, I haven't told him everything that happened in this story, but today, uh -oh. we're going to be talking about the corn maze. So, corn there's maze. this huge corn maze. It's a lot more people than I thought it would be like. Like, literally, like, I'm probably pushing over a thousand, which is a lot, but... In the maze at the yeah. one time? No, 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 no. A thousand people there. Probably about two thousand, two, 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 three thousand. You know, a lot of people wow. there. It was just a huge thing. And then there's this corn maze that you go through. It's a set out path. And you may think it sounds really lame, but it was actually pretty freaking scary. And it's this huge thing. It at least took us an hour and a half to get through. You know, wow. it's not completely like just running through stalks of corn or anything, but it's the set out path. And there's different circles and things you have to go through. So they're it's dead ends? Yeah. So, yes, they're dead ends. It's a legit maze. And there's tons. I, I'd say 30 to probably 40 to 50 people in there paid to scare you so when you get oh, paid man. to scare someone you're gonna scare someone and, and was it at night did you go at night it was at night it was at like 8 p.m which it gets dark now at 8 p.m where we are but did you it, have to have a flashlight no but people brought flashlights anyway i was with about five or six people and they, uh, one of us had flashlights so they would walk around in the front with a flashlight and you would run into other people who would be there and it was only eight dollars to get in but it was a really like high class thing and it, it was a lot of fun i re I, I would do it again and well, i want to do it again next weekend if you got if you got lost in it you know it wouldn't it wouldn't be that bad because you, you know you could eat the corn yeah that's true of course you'd never run out on corn i mean what a huge waste of corn that whole maze was but cutting it all down yeah exactly you're just wasting the corn but thinking of it and speed speaking of cutting down the corn i would these things is these stalks of corn are like nine feet tall just these towering things so you can't really see over or see out unless you're shaquille o'neal even then you probably can't even see over that but couldn't you just walk through them if you really got you know, if you yeah, but you, don't, you don't know where you're going. There's no like set direction to go. But what I did is I took out this stock of corn, this huge stock of corn, like nine feet in the air. And we gave it to three of us. And we all, we all held it as like a javelin thing. We would stab into people. And when a scary person would come by, people would like scary people would crawl by and like prone in random places and just lay down. And it was so weird. And they would have the, they would have really, really, really good makeup, like almost to the walking dead point. I mean, nothing can wow. really compare to the walking dead point, but really guys, it was insane makeup. They were really scary they would have like there was a guy with a chainsaw he was in this full orange like jump shoot with a chainsaw now this chainsaw of course it was a legit chainsaw it did have the gas and everything ru running and he, he was started running up it? right there yeah but he didn't have the chain on it so oh, if, yeah, even yeah. if he touched you and these people aren't allowed to touch you or anything like that but really this thing was scary we, oh and we took the piece of bamboo and this lady threat she threatened to escort me out she was like i will escort you and i said i brought the bamboo from home or not the bamboo the corn but and, <laughs> and she didn't believe me she, she said she, she didn't believe me well, of course what? Cause, cause you're carrying around corn in a corn maze <laughs> gee i brought it from home maybe you don't you don't know me and then me yeah. and my friend evan he is so good so good at public trolling he can just keep a straight face we were going around and telling everybody in the corn maze whenever we ran into other people which is actually quite often but we would tell people that we lost our dog and dog <laughs> yeah we would tell people that we lost our dog like in have the maze. You seen, yeah have you seen jenna our dog rottweiler mix and people were like there's a dog loose like Wait, really? You you managed to lose your dog? Like, <laughs> like she doesn't bite people unless she doesn't know them. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. Of all places, the one place, the corn maze. Why would you lose your dog? Yeah. And we were just trolling with everyone. It it was a great time. There were there were a lot of people there. But yeah, that that's my corn maze story. Lots of fun. Definitely gonna want to do it again. All right. Well, you know, I was I was someone asked me last night when I was playing online. They said, "Are you gonna get the PS4 and the Xbox One?" Mm -hmm. And then I and of course I told them yes. But then I thought about yeah, we are getting both. By the way, yeah, if you guys want to, I, I hit thought us about up on that. if I if you were doing YouTube, would I get one of the new consoles? You'd probably get one. I, I don't think you get yeah. both. I don't think I, I. You know what? I wouldn't get it right off. To be really? honest, no. Well, okay. What's wrong with my console now? Don't be one of those people who's like, oh, well, I don't need a new phone. My phone already works. I don't need an iPhone you know, that's or not an me, Android. But, but I know it's not you. But why but. would I? Why would I push it if I can play Call of Duty and it's going to be the same, right? Ghost is going to be the same on. Ah, uh, no, dude. Think about it. The the Xbox 360 has 500 or 500 megabytes of RAM, and right. the new consoles like the Xbox One and the PS4 both have eight gigabytes of RAM, which is 16 times 
what the Xbox 360 and PS3 have, which is just an insane amount. But will it play differently? Will the graphics be different? Will I'm I, will sure I they will. Why experience? wouldn't they? Okay, don't act like if you're on a computer with 500 megabytes of RAM versus a computer with, with 8 gigs of RAM. Don't act like the graphics wouldn't be different at all. Don't act like if you had a better CPU and a better graphics card. Don't act like they wouldn't be better. You know they would. Well, I, yes, conceptually, but actually practically. Like if I was watching a YouTube video and and it, one was from the PS3 and one was from the PS4, would I be able to tell a difference? I, I don't see why not. I don't see while you're watching YouTube videos on your PlayStation, play no, no, no. PlayStation. No, I, I mean, if I was watching on the computer, and I could I tell the difference between between someone who made a PS4 video on the graphics card? Yes, by far, dude. I can totally tell. Like one of my friends has a decent graphics card, not a really good one. Okay, it's actually kind of old, but and I have a rocking graphics card, guys. Okay. If you don't know, and I can tell the difference. I'm telling you right now, straight up, honestly, I can tell the difference. Okay, so one thing I did find out about the Xbox One is that you will be able to sign in on both an Xbox One account and an Xbox 360 account well, at the same time. Well, they're the same, but yeah. At the a same Microsoft time. account on an Xbox One and Xbox 360, which is yeah. really cool. And I also heard that the chat's going to be run through Skype. And if you guys don't know, all YouTubers really communicate through Skype. That's kind of how you do it. But it, it, I think it's going to be so cool you that you'll be able to have Skype built into your Xbox. You won't be able to voice connect with xbox 360 players if you're on the xbox one are you sure yep you can wow. message them but you can't talk between consoles oh that sucks i know i saw that from the microsoft website today oh well i mean we're getting new consoles guys we've had the same consoles like i in my lifetime oh, i'm only old. 14 years old and i i've never known anything really different than an xbox 360 and a ps3 you know you had the ps2 and you had the ps1 but you we never did. really knew anything different right Right. This was a first generation of consoles where you could actually play online effectively. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you could on PS2 if you had an Ethernet, but that was just lame. Yeah, it, it just, you know, and everything was dial up back then. So, no, uh -huh. this is this is like the first real. And I, I think it's going to be the last generation of consoles, to be mm -hmm. honest. What? Yeah, I don't think Everyone's we're going to have any more consoles. Computers? Everyone's going to move to computers because what are you <sighs> comparing these consoles to? Computers, computers. Of course. They are computers. Mm -hmm. and, and when when PS3 came out, it was an amazing computer for its time. Oh, yeah. Oh, it still yeah. holds up. I mean, it, it does things that, that most computers don't do still. Yeah. Effectively. Yeah. Okay. Right? Because it'll run a lot of, lot of games and, and carry a lot of, uh, you know, RAM and, and all those gigabytes and all those things. Mm -hmm. So it, it does pretty well. It does a lot better than a lot of computers. A lot of yeah, laptops, that's, that's for sure. Yeah. Lo oh, laptops. I, I hate laptops. I don't know why. I just hate them. I, I so prefer desktops. It's oh, yeah. not they're, even funny. They're just stronger. I don't care. The strongest laptop you can make, I don't think is better than, than a good desktop. It's true. I, I just, I, I don't know what it is, guys, but I always prefer desktops over laptops. I mean, I, I don't have anything against. I, I'm not laptop racist. <laughs> but well, I, actually, I kind of am. I have to yeah. admit it. But yeah. I, you know, I'm gonna say, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, hopefully, you enjoyed my corn maze talk. Lots of crazy things going on at the corn maze. Hopefully, you guys also enjoyed this gameplay and this awesome commentary. Du dual dad commentaries, Father Sundays. They're always the best. But again, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop shot that like button down below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. And I'll see you next time. See if I don't die with a corn stock in my eye.